Hey there, this is Jeff from Advanced Web Solutions. Gonna show you quickly today how to add Google MX records through cPanel. Let's take a look. So before we begin, if you can kindly like this video, subscribe to our channel, that's greatly appreciated. It helps us get quality content out a little bit faster. And without further ado, let's get started. So first off, where do you find the Google MX records or values for a G Suite, Google Workspace, whatever you're using nowadays? Uh, fortunately, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna do a quick Google search. We're gonna put in, Google MX records, then it should show up first one in search engines and we're just gonna click on that link right there and you're taken to the values page. Now, if you scroll down, you'll notice that uh, Google has implemented some changes to the MX record. So if you have a Google Workspace account for any time other than 2023, uh, it makes job a little bit easier. Uh, you can see what the records are right here and there's actually only one, which makes things you know a bit simpler than it would be otherwise. I'm used to doing uh, the option before 2023 where it has all of these right here. So uh, when we open up cPanel, I'll show you both and how they work, but just remember to keep this window open because we're gonna need it later. What you want to look for is the zone editor icon. So we're just going to uh, zoom down a little bit here. We're going to go past email. We're going to go past files, database, and into domains here. And you'll see it as this icon. So we're just going to click on zone editor. And that's going to bring up our settings. So here you'll see uh, it says uh, test site advanced and that's just my test website when I do some of these tutorials and some other things for clients. But basically it shows you all your options. It has your A record, your C name and MX what we're looking for as well. Right now there's nothing underneath. So what we need to do is to click on manage to see what the settings actually are. And once they load, you'll see everything that's currently there on your current hosting plan. As we scroll down, you'll see the various records available. But the only one we're interested in really is if there's anything that says MX records, which we have here. So for these to work for Google Office or Workspace, you're gonna have to delete this one first, which I'm not gonna do today before they'll work. If you forget to delete the one that's already there, then all the changes you make will be for not. So just remember, and I'll give you a reminder at the end that this has to be removed. But uh, from here, we're gonna go to add record. Now the option to add a record is actually here. You can see uh, valid, zone name under name, uh, TTL, type, record, et cetera. We're gonna have to fill out all these fields, obviously. And what we're gonna do, of course, is go back to where we have uh, Google Workspace MX records. And uh, we're gonna have to grab the criteria from here. So if you have a Google Workspace account of anything past 2023, you're in luck. You're only gonna have to do a couple things. So all we're gonna do is go here and we're gonna grab the value. I'm gonna copy and paste it. We'll go back to our zone editor and first and foremost, we're gonna to have to make sure that we put MX record. It's not gonna take it if it doesn't say MX. So we'll put that in here. We're gonna put the destination, which is that. And then we're gonna go back and just see that the priority is one. So we're gonna set it as one also. The rest of these settings should be fine. And usually your uh, zone name should be whatever your domain name is underneath. So in my case, it's this. I'm gonna put that there as well. Uh, sometimes it may say it can be an at symbol. Sometimes it takes it, sometimes it does not. So just be aware of that. So once I have all the fields filled in, I'm going to press save record, the blue button, and see what happens. It says success in green here, which means uh, we did everything properly. Now, in my case, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to delete the one we just entered because obviously this is any version past 2023 for uh, Google Business. In your case, uh, you may have an account that's much older, so we'll show you how to do the longer way, and let's do that next. So I'm going to delete this here. And uh, we'll go back to uh, Add Records. Now you guessed it, we're gonna go back to that same Google Workspace MX Records page we found earlier. And instead of just one field to enter, we have to do five, a little bit more annoying, but the process is exactly the same. So all we're gonna do is take this, remembering the priority is one. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna paste it right into here. And again, we have to remember instead of A, which will be the default, we have to go to MX, setting the integer to one. And then copy and pasting that same domain name here. Let's try that one more time. Copy V, control V to paste and save record. Voila. So repeating the process again, we're going back to our sheet. This time you have to remember the priority is five. So we're gonna copy, 
Going back to zone editor, add a record again, make sure it's MX. And remember it's five this time. If it's anything other than five, it's not gonna work the same way. And then the same settings, copy, paste, save record. Gonna go back again. And you'll notice it's five for the next one as well. So definitely remember that same process. Add a new record, make sure it's MX, and you'll get good at this the more you practice. There you go, integer five again, make sure you get the right domain, make sure you have the dot, make sure there's no typos. Gonna save the record again. Two more to go, same process. We're going back, you gotta remember this time the priority is 10, so obviously, uh, if you do anything other than that, it can work, but it may work inconsistently. So you have to keep that in mind. We're going to add record, same process, MX, destination, this time it is 10. Add the domain name, copy and paste, save. Success message, and one more time, and we're almost done. Last one here, copy and paste. Add, switch to MX to the destination, 10 again. Same domain name. And we are finished. Our mission has been a success. So last thing, as you'll notice, we still have uh, six MX records here, not five. And that's because we still have the default one and the default setting from the very beginning. So as I told you, if you forget to delete this one, even if you enter the other five correctly or the one from uh, 2023 and beyond, all of these settings will still not work and your emails won't be configured. So your last and final step to make sure everything is working well with your emails moving forward is to delete the original right here. So in my case, I'm just going to go over to the delete button. I'm not going to delete it today because I'm going to keep the settings the way they are but that is your last step if everything's a success your email should be working through your website and you did a great job bravo hopefully you found that video helpful and if so please remember to like this video or subscribe to our channel it helps us get content out just a little bit quicker other than that thanks for watching and have a great day we'll see you again soon